So you wanna run a foot clutch jockey shift setup, but you have a rotary top transmission, also known as the cow pie transmission, late model shovel head transmission. All your favorite websites carry jockey shifters, but only for the ratchet top guys. But good news, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a DIY rotary top jockey shifter and foot clutch setup for your bike, and I'm gonna show you how to do it for less than 50 bucks. Thanks for checking out Grease's Garage. Stick with me. I'm going to help you skip the struggle. All right, guys. So we're going to get started on this build with the shifter itself. The shifter right here is 100% aluminum. And this piece that it's connected to down here is actually your stock shifter linkage. So what I'll do first is I'm going to pop this off of the bike, take it over to the table, and show you exactly how I made it. All right, guys. So here is a close-up look at the shifter off of the bike. This right here is the stock shift linkage piece from the cow pie transmission. It has a little hump right here with a hole through it, and that's what bolts to your shift shaft. So basically I took this little piece off of the bike, I cut that little hump off, and I welded this jockey shifter arm right to the piece. So you actually retain this little zerk fitting, so you can continue to grease the bushing, and the entire shifter is extremely, extremely light. This is probably quarter inch aluminum bar stock that I just ground down to a slight taper so that it matched with this aluminum shifter knob that I found on eBay for about 15 bucks. This I dug out of the scrap bin, so this is a very low budget build, but because you're retaining this stock piece, it shifts just as smoothly as it does from the factory, and you have the added benefit of some people do these rotary top jockey shifters and they only use this one hole and that puts a lot of stress left to right on the actual shaft. So I just want to bring you guys in here and show you what I was talking about when I said some people with these rotary tops, they want to make the shifter attach right here because if I move the shifter, you can see this is actually what's shifting it. It's this bracket right here running back to here twisting this shaft that's actually the shifting action. But having the shifter over here not only keeps the weight off of this shaft, but it also gives you this little section. And as you can see, as the ball rides up in there, you can shift back and forth without ever having to put tension on the shifter shaft itself. The rotary top is actually a fantastic transmission. It gets a lot of grief because the ratchet top guys love the simplicity of three bolts and you're done with your jockey shifter. But I'm telling you, try this out. If you have a rotary top and you want to go jockey shift, you do not need to ditch this setup. It's bomb proof. All right, guys. So now that you've got the jockey shifter out of the way, the next step in the build is your clutch arm. Now this is the stock clutch arm right here. And you can see I cut mine right here which is about in line with this little tab on the rotary top. And I just welded a stainless rod, you can see here, welded this stainless rod onto this stock clutch arm. And you can use, honestly, a $5 mild steel rod from Home Depot for this. It's half inch diameter. And over on this side, I welded a bolt to it. This is actually just a stainless steel bolt welded to the end of the rod so that gives me some threads over here and now let me give you a shot from the other side too just to show you you want these threads to stick out so that they're about in plane with where your clutch pedal is going to be at all right guys so before i show you the foot clutch itself i just want to show you this linkage piece here because this is how you're going to attach your clutch arm which is the piece back in here that we just talked about this linkage is going to attach that arm to your clutch pedal. And this is how you know you have a good foot clutch, is if you can do it with one finger, then you know you've got the proper amount of leverage. So the way I built this, this is a 5 16 threaded rod. Now this is 5 16 fine thread, which is 5 16 24. And the reason I went with fine thread, because I usually don't use fine thread for anything, is these are called heim joints. These go on the threads that we put on the end of this clutch rod. For some reason, heim joints seem to only be sold in fine thread. So I had to get the fine thread heim joints to fit on the rod. So we got 5 24 for both of them. 
If you don't have these at your local hardware store, I know a lot of them don't carry it. Uh, I've got links in the description. You can buy these on Amazon. They are kind of pricey for what they are. I think they're about eight bucks each. So you'll need two of them. And then the threaded rod itself, uh, this is about two feet. I think I started with a two foot piece and I cut it down a little bit. But buy a two foot section of the threaded rod, buy two of these heim joints, and you'll be good to go. And basically, you're looking to go from here, wherever your clutch arm comes out, all the way to however you want to set up your clutch pedal. Now I'm going to show you how to how I set mine up. Again, this is a 1994 Evo Softail. So mine came with floorboards. I ended up using the stock shifter over here, shifter peg to make this foot clutch setup. I'll take you through that now. All right, so I'm going to bring you in close on the foot clutch setup itself. So the way that I made this is this right here is on, at least on the floorboard models there's a big hump right here and it holds this pivot point that's attached to your shifter. Now you could leave it there, but for me, I like to use more of the floorboard. Uh, it just always felt like the stock controls kind of ended right here and half the floorboard was just wasted space. So what I did is I, I you can actually see that still right here. I cut that hump off and I moved it forward uh, about an inch and a half. And that's just personal preference. You don't have to do that to do a foot clutch. That's just what I did with mine. Uh, so this is actually still the stock pivot point, And this is the stock shift lever. Now you could also leave your stock shifter peg right here. But for me, you see the width of the floorboard, the width of the foot. I like a little more pedal. I know this is very not chopper of me. Everybody loves to have tiny little pegs that are like this long, but I can't really fit my foot on something like that. So I like a longer pedal, but I hate when you use just a, a regular rod and you push on the pedal and you can feel the flex in the actual rod. So this right here is actually just the, the bottom of a ratchet. I cut this off of an, a shitty cobalt ratchet that I was never using because it was terrible. And now you can see if you push right on the tip of that thing, you don't get one ounce of flex in that thing. The other reason I wanted to do it is because I knew I wanted to put something longer on here. And this was already chromed and I was able to weld right to the chrome. So it kind of looked like the whole piece just continued on. And honestly, I love it. I think it came out great. The other piece that you'll make over here is basically just, this is just a piece of flat steel. This came as part of the stock assembly, but it was much taller. It like came up to here and that was just crazy long. I didn't need that. So what I did is I just kind of tapered it out into a point, drilled a hole right in the center of it. And that's where this other end of the heim joint bolts into. So now when I press down on the pedal, it moves that piece right there, which is connected to the heim joint. And I'll keep pushing it here so you can see the whole thing playing out. And I'll even back your way out so you can see how the whole thing goes. So this is all there is to it. This is how you make a foot clutch setup for a shovel head, for an Evo Big Twin, for really any bike. Uh, this just happens to be my Evo Softail, which is now an Evo Hardtail. I'll give you one more angle of that so you can see I'm pushing on this. And the one thing that you do that is nice when you retain this stock piece right here is this is still a spline shaft. So let's say you got your throw perfect and this is how you like the clutch to engage and disengage, but there, but it was too low down here. You wanted more space for your foot. You can keep this right where it is, take this piece off of the shaft and clock it at a higher angle, put it right back on and you've still got that same smooth setup. So, Double, it's a double benefit. One, you don't have to buy anything else. You can do this whole setup. Honest to God, you can build this for under 50 bucks. It's so dead simple. So long as you have the, what do you call this here? The shovel head transmission. In my case, the cow pie transmission. I know everybody says they hate these transmissions and they wish they had a ratchet top. But for me, this has been completely bomb proof. I've never had a single clutch issue. I have absolutely no issue finding neutral. It is super, super easy to shift. And speaking of that, let me just quickly throw in a couple shots here of how it looks when you're actually shifting the mechanism because it's kind of cool. 
the way the jockey shifter works on a rotary top as opposed to on a ratchet top. You've kind of got this dual system going on. So as I was shooting this video, I actually was tempted to clean this whole bike up because I noticed as I was filming that this thing is filthy. But I decided to leave this in because I, you guys see so many channels of people with these builds that are just pristine and perfect and they don't have any road grime on them. But I want you guys to see this setup raw as it really looks. This bike got ridden a ton. Look at this sprocket over here. Gross, right? But this bike has seen some serious mileage and this rotary top setup has been fantastic. I have never had one clutch issue once I got this thing dialed in. So if you've been thinking about doing a jockey shift, do not let the, the fact that you don't have a ratchet top steer you away from it. You can make a Super cool shift setup for your rotary top. And like I said, 50 bucks or less, and you are jockey shifting your way down the road this summer. So go get after it. And if you run into any problems, let me know how I can help. All right, guys, that is going to do it for us this week. If you like these kind of fabrication how-to videos, take a look at this video right here where I will show you how to weld in top hat bungs onto a gas tank, one of the most critical skills in all of motorcycle fabrication. Thanks for checking out the video this week, and I will catch you guys in the next one.